Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video here on my channel. I'm so glad you are watching this one more time. I want to go back to the playlist Let's Talk Europe because if you remember, we did the Google Autocomplete on a lot of different countries, right? This time what I want to do is do the Google Autocomplete but talking about Europe, cause I never did that. One quick thing before we jump into this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I know there is still a big percentage of people that watches my video but has not yet subscribed. And I would love for your support. I really need it. Um, as always, thank you so much if you already have subscribed. If not, click it. Super important, what people Google about Europe. So, what people Google about Europe, let's go. And here we are, Google Autocomplete. Um, we start, of course, with Europe is number one, located to the blank of the Ecuador, Ecuador, another word I don't know how to pronounce, ding, ding, ding. That line that divides the southern and northern hemisphere of the planet, that word, uh, Europe is north, right above Africa, the continent, right? Uh, next one is Europe is a continent. Yes, it is. But it is obviously also a political and economical um, get together of different countries. Europe is not a continent. That's not true. It is. Europe is a country or a continent. It is a continent. It has many different countries. The European Union has big control over currency, economical distribution, a lot of laws that are equal now in all of the European Union countries. It is not one country, uh, it is a continent and like I said, this political conglomerate of countries. Europe is A, yes, A plus. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what, what they were looking for. Europe is lost, lyrics. I don't know that song. Um, mm, not my type of music. Europe is in what hemisphere? Uh, yep, north, the upper half, like I said at the beginning, above uh, Africa, the continent. Europe is in what country? People really Googling this? I don't know, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a continent, it's a lot of countries. Europe is lost, again, don't like it. Uh, Europe is of Africa. What of Africa? Europe is of Africa. I don't know, guys, if you have any idea what this is supposed to be, please let me know. All right, let's flip it. Is Europe a country? No, a continent? Yes. Is Europe open for travel? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been there because of COVID-19, obviously. There is traveling within Europe. I don't know how it is from the US, to be honest. And I do have to start looking into it because I have to fly to Switzerland towards November, December, and then next year. Fingers crossed. I don't know. Is Europe open? Like I said, I don't know. Is Europe open to American tourists? <laughs> I still don't know. Is Europe a state? Nope. I mean, unless you want to count the European Union as an economical power state, but you could. It's not really. Is Europe socialist? <laughs> I'm thinking about a good friend of mine. He would say all of Europe is socialist. Yes and no. I mean, probably more socialist than the US in general. Most of the European countries have things like free education, free healthcare, right? But of course, there are countries where taxes are high as well, right? Uh, you know, Switzerland and, and we talk about Finland has high taxes too. More socialist than, than the US? Yeah, probably. A statement like, is Europe socialist? Like, if I had to answer that by yes and no, I would say no, but has a lot of socialist influence. Put it that way. Is uh, Europe open to Americans? Again, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. It's a lot about COVID. Is Europe close to Americans? I don't know. Is Europe open to US travelers? Five of these are all the same. I think I'm gonna start reading into it and do a video. One of the next videos is gonna be all about travel restriction to Europe and the US. Well, guys, this is it for this video. I don't wanna keep it too long. There is no reason to stretch this out, right? We went through a bunch of things. It's a lot of fun always. Next video is gonna be about Europeans. Europeans are, are Europeans. 
uh, European population, all these kind of things, always a lot of fun. And like I said, I think I'm gonna look into travel restriction or however freely people can move from the US to Europe. It's a very complicated thing, but I'm gonna look into it and I'll promise you I'll make a video about it and we'll find out. We're gonna learn and we'll be able to answer a lot of these questions. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it very, very much. Again, please subscribe. I can't urge you enough. I really need your help and support and as you can see, I do my best every single time to create these videos. I am still new, my channel is like six, seven months old. So I'm learning a lot of things every single day. And um, you know, thanks to you, I will grow. I will get better and better and better and better and better, and better, 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 better. Again, thank you so much for being here watching this and I'll see you next week. Take care.